Hello everybody, welcome to part two of my Fashion Through Photographs historical journey. I hope you have managed to watch part one. If you haven't, it doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoy this anyway. And we're going to pick up where we left off. So please just keep on watching. Still with the 80s and at this time the boxy boxy jackets very much in vogue um, huge glasses I mean these glasses are getting bigger and I used to smoke back then um, so please forgive me gave up about 11 or 12 years ago now so you can let me off I think and um, this is at a wedding and in the next picture you can see myself and my friend Janie arriving at the wedding and we're both wearing our jackets and our shoulder pads, um, very 80s, clutch bags, pencil skirts. Um, I think we, we sum up the era there rather well. I also had like a, I think this was a leather skirt and a leather jacket jacket, not like a leather jacket, but a, a suit jacket shaped jacket and cowboy boots. And I would just wear them with um, tights that matched my t-shirt. So here we have a pink top and pink tights, or I would wear blue and blue or yellow and yellow even. I know, hideous, but slightly less hideous. Um, a dress that I wore to an event with um, a friend of mine here, who is modeling the, uh, James Dean slash Marlon Brando look and I am wearing this lovely ball gown and some over the elbow gloves which I've still got I'd like to point out um, I like them they're shiny they're wet look um, don't get many calls to wear them these days but I've got them in case I need to then we move on slightly in time to 1988 when I spent six months touring America by myself on the Greyhound buses and all I took with me was one backpack so not really that easy to take a lot of fashionable items carry them around with you and you know chop and change mix and match so I took a lot of t-shirts and shorts and you can see me here in a Western bar um, wearing my Joy Division Closer shirt. Um, back to being pale again here. Everyone will be relieved to see. Um, and the barman finding it hilarious that I'm just in a Western bar sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, as I say, shorts and T-shirts all the way. Here I am wearing a New Order shirt in New York um standing by I think it's a Staten Island bridge is it must be um yeah I kept my hair short while I was touring around because ease ease of use as it were um here I am in a typical 80s top um again massive glasses I wish I knew why I thought they looked nice but I did at the time and as I say very very 80s this top um, the sort of thing that you would see in like Patrick Nagel artwork that sort of thing um, while I was there I visited um, New Orleans or New Orleans as I think they call it there and here I am modeling some beautiful red boots which I wanted to buy but didn't because it was quite near the start of the six months and I didn't want to um, end up with no money. So I managed to avoid buying them but got someone to take a picture of me wearing them and um, hawk-eyed viewers will spot my Blue Peter badge on my jacket um, which was extremely useful in America because if there was any Brits in the room they would spot my Blue Peter badge and um, come and have a chat. So that was fun. 
Um, when I got back, um, fashion had moved on and sadly the glasses hadn't, but I moved into sort of over the knee socks, mini skirts and crop tops. Um, I liked it, I thought it was great. I mean, obviously, clearly I couldn't wear a crop top now and I wasn't gonna say to, unless you gave me the money, but even if you gave me the money, I certainly wouldn't wear a crop top. Um, but the over the knee socks, I'm still very partial to. Um, here I am pretending to look tough in an actual leather jacket. Um, if you're a regular viewer, you will have seen my um, upcycling of a faux leather jacket that I did over Christmas. Um, here I haven't become vegan yet, um, but I always like to leather jacket. Um, another wig, a dress, I thought I looked fabulous. Say no more. Leather jackets and wigs and massive 80s brooches. Some of these fashions I'm not super sure about. Um, like say for example, these, um, I use the word trousers for want of a better word. And again, the Dr. Martin shoes, but this time with um, tartan black and white ribbon instead of laces. I mean, it's a look, I suppose. And then less black hair dye, still huge glasses, still leather jacket, but you can see I've got um, ribbons and charms and all sorts of things hanging off the shoulder there. Some I like those leggings actually. I thought I'd wear them now. Yeah, I'd wear them now. Um, and my lovely car. So I hate to put a date on this somewhere lost in the 80s anyway. And um, here I am. <laughs> here I am in a nightclub in Essex on a hen weekend. Again, thinking I look like the bees bollocks. And that dress, I mean, feathers, velvet, tiny dress. And I think I was the only person in the nightclub wearing dark glasses. So eat your heart out, Andrew Eldritch. The hen weekend was for my friend Janie's wedding, who you saw me at a, someone else's wedding earlier. And here I am in my bridesmaids outfit for her wedding and it's um, cl claret burgundy some sort of wine color it's from monsoon it's a pencil skirt and a little bolero jacket and underneath is a um, corset type top of the same colour but made of sort of like a lacy fabric and and matching shoes obviously and all the bridesmaids had different outfits but all made from the same fabric so somebody else had something all made of the lacy outfit and somebody else had something else made of the velvet etc um, and I think it was a great idea it looked really good and my hair <gasps> I don't know if you can see, but I've got ringlets there coming down and huge round hair and big earrings. And I mean, if that doesn't scream 80s at you, I don't know what does until you look at this picture of me on my last day at work when I worked at Sky TV ad sales in the West End in London my old boss Peter um, and that was me on my last day and that was when I really was quite slim um, thigh high boots um, black leggings a belt which that belt you can buy today 
but that particular individual belt I lost a long time ago which is very sad and the shiny corset top again and as that is my actual hair in that picture not a wig that is my hair okay it's still my hair but this time um, I'm with my friend Steve in his back garden. I'm smoking again. I'm still smoking here. And this is about 1991 um, in my Daisy Dukes and fishnets, cowboy boots and a ripped top. Um, again, thinking I look pretty cool. And to be fair, I think I do look reasonably cool there. Um, and I will repeat, it is my actual hair there. Um, I then started experimenting with different coloured hair. Here I am at a climbing wall um, somewhere with who is now my lovely husband. Um, he introduced me to climbing. I enjoy it very much, or I did back then. I haven't done it for a thousand years. but And this shade of hair I managed to... I think almost imperceptibly match my lipstick so and the um, armful of bangles as well that was a thing um, very fashion um, back then and as were these sort of um, patchwork trousery type of affairs that everybody wore um, also I went to a few festivals back then. I haven't got any pictures of me when I went to Glastonbury because the times I went, I wouldn't take a camera with me because A, I probably would have lost it or dropped it or it would have fallen in the mud or... Anyway, this particular picture is me at Reading. I've got black hair again and here I've got some rather fetching footless tights in a sort of lacy um, material which I really really enjoyed. I looked at this picture this morning and thought I miss those. I'd quite like more lacy footless tights um, and I've got a couple of um, purple vests on and a skull scarf. I can't remember what year that was um, but it was about I don't know 24 25 years ago something like that. And this next one was about, goodness me, when was this? This was 19, no, it must be 2000 and something. Yeah, maybe 2001 at my mum's 50th. Um, yeah, 2001 and I've got a hat. It's the hat I wore at my wedding and I've attached a black veil to it and I've got the ribbons in my hair that I always used to wear then and I've got a lacy um, low-cut purple blouse on um, and some sh eyeshadow <laughs> and last of all um, from this section um, I've got um, this was taken by the local paper um, for an article about goths and what we are and what we wear and um, I was a lot whiter then than I am now and again I've got the ribbons in my hair and um, cowboy boots and not spurs but things you put round your boots with studs on one and a heart on the other, fishnet gloves, um, rosaries, back brooch, exciting eyebrows. Um, so all these were actual photographs, uh, well they are actual photographs, which I have scanned um, so that I can put them up on the screen here for you. And I'm just going to quickly try and bring you up to date with um, more recent fashion photographs and things that I liked to wear. So here I am on my honeymoon in Las Vegas standing outside the Luxor Hotel 
wearing a lovely blouse that I wish I still had. It's just so sheer and light, um, goes under anything, over anything, um, lots of ribbons in my hair. Um, I really like the wearing that blouse with so many different outfits, <coughs> excuse me, and I really wish I had a similar one now, but I can't find one for the life of me. Um, 1998 that was when we got married moving on to 2010 I am at my school reunion um, wearing fishnets and mesh and a mini skirt and wondering where all these grown-ups came from that used to be the same age as me when we were at school together so that's my school reunion 2011 going for smart goth with this sort of very crisp um, button through shirt dress lovely big diamante belt gorgeous little handbag and a um, little hat on a headband which I'm not sure about now I don't think I'd wear that now but I like the dress um, couldn't get in it now of course but that's that 2012 I lived in this starry dress here I am with my dad down at his house and his beautiful dog Christy and I loved this dress um, but by the time I'd worn it for like a thousand times I began to think perhaps it was a bit too girly and not gothy enough and I sent it off to the charity shop um, for someone else to get joy from it here I am in 2016 visiting with my mum and making clever use of some extraordinarily loud trainers to take attention away from the rest of me really. They're tri um, shoes for you know doing triathlons in, not that I can do triathlons but they do have beautiful trainers so I had to have those. Um, 2017 as you can see I'm wearing a headscarf here I'm already well into having had chemotherapy got no hair um, and this outfit sees the return of the over the knee sock look which I like very much and it also gives you an idea of silver body a silver body like a vest body thing that you can wear under something very low cut um, I love this silver body. I got it in Boohoo that year, 2017, um, and it's very shiny. It's almost slippery. Um, it's it's just a, a genuinely silvery silver piece of clothing, which is the only one I've got. I like it very much. Um, 2019, I got photographed for the catalogue for London Edge, which is a um, alternative trade show. And Amy Davis took this picture of me in a Primark dress with a Primark belt, which I upcycled. There's a video about doing that on this channel. Um, a parasol, some jewelry. It just goes to show that you don't need to buy big brands. You can buy generic, clothes and do them up yourself and make your own brand make yourself a brand why not um, here I am at London Edge doing exactly the same thing in just a Primark vest and mini skirt but with a big pile of jewellery um, some I quite liked the makeup this day and it give, gave me a chance to wander about not get over hot um, try things on if I wanted to um, again it's the use of simple basic items that you can accessorize up and um, here I am in our new office um, that year we moved to a new office I'm a civil servant um, as you may know and my friend and now manager Amelia hello Amelia took some great pictures of me against the walls of the office before they got covered in bookshelves and desks and filing cabinets and boring stuff like that. So I'm wearing a Primark pleather skirt um, and a charity shop 
furry collared cardigan um, which I will say don't forget as soon as the lockdowns end people are going to be chucking out tons of really good stuff that they can't get into anymore um, and taking it to the charity shop so that will be a good time to go shopping um, and finally I was lucky enough last year to do some modelling for Chop Goth um, bags and I wore a very simple outfit but I think it was very effective. It's just an ordinary pinafore type dress with some buckles across it that I got at Kate's Clothing and some fishnet tights and some sandals. Um, they're black faux leather sandals with diamante studs in. So clearly how could I leave them on the shelf um, so that is it really it's a gallop a gallop through time 1960 what did I say it was 1963 to 2020 um, I hope you've enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up whether you enjoyed it or not if you've made it this far leave me a purple heart emoji in the um, comments so that I know that you've got staying power um, and it just remains for me to say thank you again for watching I really really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will see you next time please everybody stay safe stay strange bye for now <laughs>